everybody, good morning, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna to review what we have here in this box, and I mentioned it in my last video. It is a hitch basket bag from Boogie RV, and they were kind enough to send this to me for me to review. Full disclosure, as always, they did send me this, I didn't pay for it, but uh, I'm gonna give you my honest review on it. And if you're interested after the video of picking one up, they also sent along a 15% off discount code. That's gonna all be in the description. As always, thank you for watching. If you have questions or comments, leave those below. Let's get started with the review. All right, so as you can see, it is folds down into a nice size. It is made in China. Comes with a one year warranty and it is 48 by 20 by 22 inches high. So it should hold quite a bit of stuff and keep it out of the out of the rain um, for me the big thing was I wanted something like this to keep if I'm carrying important stuff outside to keep it out of the uh, dust for the most part because around here as you know we are it's pretty dusty it comes with six straps that allow you to connect it to the hitch basket or to the top of your roof whatever you're carrying it in so that's kind of cool I'm interested in trying that out and then this guy folds out. My table is not big enough, as you can see. But it's made out of, I think they said 1,000 D, uh, what they call 1,000 D polyester. It has waterproof zippers, which is really cool. And this flap that goes over the zipper, so that'll help keep water out. Feels like it's really well made, first off. It's also got some Velcro here to help keep the flaps down as well. So the volume that it can carry, it says up to 12 cubic feet. Here you can see it's got a little bit of reinforcement for the straps where those connect, which is kind of cool. And as I mentioned, there's six of those. So, all right, guys, now that we have it out of the bag and out of the box, I'm going to put this on my hitch basket and I'm going to show you its size, show you how much stuff will fit inside of here. And then from there, I'm going to do a quick water test and then we're going to drive it in Reddington, which you guys have seen in my other videos, it's a dirt road, and we'll see how well it does protecting uh, from dust. So that'll be cool. And when I'm showing you the size as well, I'll show you how these straps hook up and uh, how they connect to your basket or your carrier or whatever you decide to use to carry this around. So let's get started with that, and thanks for watching, guys. I'm gonna show you how I determined was the easiest way to connect these straps to make it easy to hook up. My personal opinion was it was easier to hook this part of the strap up here and then this bottom part wraps around and then you feed it through and then you can pull it tight. So the way you do this, you feed it through the top through the bottom then back up around this way and then really the, the fiddliest part is right here, just trying to get this back through here to, so you can tighten it down. But let's work, work it a little bit and you'll get it through there. And you can adjust the, the length as much as you want by pulling that before you pull it tight. And then you pull it tight. So now, once you've got that attached there, you can leave it on there. And then you just take this part of the strap, you wrap it around your hitch basket, your roof basket, whatever. Come back through, up, down through here, back through, and then feed it through this part. And then now you're gonna have tension on this side of the hitch or of this side of the rope. You can kind of pull this part tight and then snug it down this way. And that seems to work out really well. So that's the way I did it. Pretty awesome, right? <laughs> it's kind of cool. 
there's actually even still a little bit more room on the sides where you could probably scooch these all over to one side and easily fit something else maybe my camera bag or something along those lines but there's a ton of room in here once you get this strapped down it's not going to go anywhere but one of the things that i want to test is um, how waterproof the zipper is and this material so i'm going to throw some towels in there and uh, we're going to wet the heck out of this thing and see how it does tore off some shop towels we're going to put this right along the top of the bags here near the zipper and see how we do beating off nicely and we could get some splashes like this all right let's see what we got here i want to dry just this area first so i don't accidentally get any get the towel wet on accident i want to know what we're dealing with here all right just in case but uh, see how well of a job this thing that does i mean you can see i think the zippers look like they close up pretty well so and let me show you so we did get a little bit of wetness right here as well as over here Nothing on this side. So this is where, this spot here is where the zippers work next to each other. And I'm not sure what this spot is from. Doesn't feel wet inside. There is a little bit of moisture right here on this part of the zipper on the inside. So that could correspond to this. Overall, it did a pretty decent job. Uh, obviously, as you can see, not 100% waterproof, but it did keep out most of it. Everything else looks pretty good. It's not massively wet. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna zip back up and put the zippers just to one side and then try it again and see what happens. Let's take a look here on round two and see what we see how we did. So as you can see again, we have just a little bit of of water seeping through here. This side's mostly dry. Um, and as far as down in the bag, I don't see any any water down there. So just a little bit, really. It's just sneaking in through the zipper. It looks like. All right, guys. So that was the uh, water test. I think it did pretty well. Um, I'm going to zip this back up and then I'm gonna go head over to Reddington, which is just a couple minutes away and drive around on the dirt road and see if we get any dust in here. Then we'll kind of wrap it up. We'll talk about the bag a little bit and uh, be done. So just back from Reddington and I had to go up a little bit higher than I expected because they were the Army Corps of Engineers was actually fixing the bottom of the road. So I actually ran into a little bit of wet road initially and then quite a bit of dust as you can probably hopefully see on the bag here. My guess is it did a great job keeping the dust out just because of the zippers and the flaps. But I'll just open it up and see if we can see any dust inside. All right, as you can see, pretty well dust free in there. The outside of the bag is pretty covered. So I'd say it did a good job passing that test. All right, so let's wrap this up. I spent most of the day with this uh, Boogie RV hitch bag, and I have to say that overall I'm very impressed with it. I really like the, ac the execution of it overall, starting with this material, the 1000D polyester. It's waterproof, and it's very thick, almost like it would 
actually protect from punctures as well. It seems like you could make a raft out of it, honestly, by the way it feels. I really like these reinforced corners that they did all around. The uh, flap that they put here to protect the zippers, the waterproof zippers with the little Velcro tabs here to kind of keep that down. That's a really nice touch. It has grab handles on the side, on both sides, which I think is cool. And then uh, it has these six spots where you can attach the six straps that come with. So that makes attaching it to whatever you're carrying it on pretty straightforward and pretty easy. So that's, that's also nice. The other thing I really like about it is the size. As you saw, it swallowed those two large suitcases and the two carry-ons with no problem whatsoever and still had room left over. So it, the capacity of this thing is excellent and it will fit really well. I also have to say the zippers themselves are pretty good. A lot of times with plastics, you'll get zippers that kind of don't work very well and they're, they tend to snag and get, get stuff caught. These feel pretty good. I, I actually uh, think they're gonna work out pretty well. So beyond the size and the positives, let's talk real quick just about a couple things that I noticed while messing around with this today. When I first took this out of the box this morning, this little piece here was kind of coming detached from the, the part underneath. It doesn't compromise the waterproof ability of the material and there's, it's not like it's a hole. It's just, I think it's more aesthetic than anything. It's supposed to be glued down there. So that's something to note. And then I was yanking on one of these straps pretty hard, tightening it down. And I got just a tiny bit of separation here, talking one or two millimeters. Um, it is secured quite well back here with a lot of stitches. So probably not a big deal, but just something I wanted to mention. The last thing that I wanted to talk about as far as, I guess I'll call it a negative, not necessarily negative, more preference. I think it would be nice if these had a clip on them versus having to thread them through like this. It would just be a lot quicker to be able to wrap it around your hitch basket, clip it, boom, pull it tight and you're good to go. But these actually do work pretty well. It took me a little bit of time just to figure out the easiest way to do it. And once I did, it was real quick, easy on and off. So not a huge deal, just something I wanted to mention. How waterproof is this guy? As you saw when we did the testing earlier, I sprayed water on here for quite some time. I did it two times and I sprayed water just letting it run underneath. I sprayed underneath it. And then I also directed quite a bit of water up underneath this seam to see how waterproof the zippers are. Now, in all fairness, you're probably not gonna have a situation where water is shooting up underneath here like it was in my test. But I think it's worth noting that the zippers are not with that kind of pressure against them, they're not 100% waterproof. These guys on their Amazon page mentioned that if you have stuff that you 100% do not wanna get wet, it's a good idea to throw them in another bag. So they just kind of put that warning out there. And I would suggest that as well. If, if you're gonna put a camera or a drone or bedding or something that absolutely you want dry 100%, put it in a trash bag or put it in another little waterproof bag and then put it inside here, just for safety's sake. I think under most circumstances, cruising in rain, going over water crossings, uh, obviously not where this is submerged, but water splashing around, I think you're gonna be 99% protected and not have any worries as far as that goes. The last thing I did is I took it up to Reddington and it did a great job of protecting the stuff inside from dust. I mean, nothing got in, that was to be expected. And uh, really, like I've mentioned before, that is probably gonna be my biggest concern when using this bag is just keeping things clean, tents, bedding, um, stuff of that nature, so it doesn't get all dusty and nasty. Overall, I think this is a nice bag. For less than 40 bucks, pretty good deal. And with that 15% off, you know, you're talking about mid 30s or less for a very well-made, uh, high capacity, bag to throw in your hitch basket or throw on top of your car with a nice little strap system to uh, lock it down. If you guys want to find out more about this guy, you can find it below in my uh, description. I'm not affiliated with these guys at all other than the fact that they asked me to review this for them. I don't get paid for anything. And uh, if you buy something, it, it's just straight from them. Not for, has nothing to do with me. So I really appreciate the opportunity to, to show you guys this and for them to, to send this 
to me to use because it's it's real it's pretty nice. As always, you guys, if you have questions or comments, leave those below or send me an email. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.